Hi, my name is Simon. On rainy days especially, we watch Frankie, Chevy, and Diesel on TJV. Sometimes we watch Josh too. Doing bad. How you doing? Tell the good people. I, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Hi guys. Yes. Wasn't expecting the camera in my face. Well, good morning to you. Everybody loves you, Diesel. Everybody. Every single person. Why? Because you're a good boy and you deserve it. You deserve it. Good boy. Am I weirding you out? I'm sorry. To get the camera in your face first thing in the morning. How dare I? Oh man, I got a little bit of allergies. I think because it's getting a little chillier at night up here. And uh, I had to use my bunk heater the last couple of nights and I haven't used it all summer, right? So I have a dog with me, the dander and dust, it builds up in the tube. And then I turn it on and it blows air out the tube and it just like, Spreads the dander like candy around the truck and my eyes and my nose go, ah! What is this? Something like that, I don't know. I think that's how it goes. So yes, good morning, good morning. We're here in Whitecourt, Alberta, and uh, we're about to go pick up our freight in the next town over in Blue Ridge, Alberta. Apparently it's tarped lumber. Well, it's lumber, but I have to tarp it after. It's not tarped right now. That'd be nice if it was. All right, let's get out of here. Off we go to save the world. Because somebody out there needs lumber. And I got to bring it to them. What are they going to do without me? They're going to hire someone else, Trucker Josh. Hi. I hear you. I hear you there in the comments. No. Let me feel important. We're gonna pick up this lumber and bring it to the people who need it. In 100 meters, turn left on Quebec Road and then turn right into 130 meters. At least I think it's lumber. Because I mean, like, I, I, I read my message where I'm supposed to pick it up, and apparently, <clears throat> apparently it says uh, in the comments or in the notes that. The shipper is going to provide poly, like poly wrap. What do you need poly wrap for with lumber? How fancy is this lumber? So I'm very curious. I don't know. 200 meters, turn right on Highway 43. Aye, aye, Mandy. Oh, Karen, I am so sorry. Oh no, Karen. Oh man, she's gonna make me pay for that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am so in trouble. So we actually load this inside. I've got a tarp it, and uh, I believe that's my load there. Not sure what it is. It is some kind of very special fancy board. And I've got to put plastic poly wrap over it before I put my tarp over it, and then that's going to Rogers, Minnesota. I'll just stay in here, stay out of his way. Yeah, there he goes, he's picking it up. It won't take him long to load it. I did have to dress up for the occasion though. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll take them like 10 minutes to get it all loaded. It'll probably take me a couple of hours to get it tarped because I gotta poly wrap it and I don't know where their poly wrap is. He'll probably show me how to use it. I've never had to do that before, so I learned something new today. That's fun. Oh, they got two guys loading me now. Oh, oh would you look at that? Look at these two guys just going to town. Just giving her. Okay, well, I'll be loaded in like two minutes now. Good. And then they want this load in Rogers, Minnesota on Monday or Tuesday, which doesn't make sense to me because I could be there Thursday and deliver Friday. So I've still got to make a few phone calls and uh, 
see if I can bump that to Friday. No, I'm gonna send an email right now, just a preliminary, like, hey, get ready, I'm gonna call you later kind of email. Like, hey, I don't wanna sit on this load for that long. I don't want it to weigh me down all weekend when I could get it off me on Friday. It doesn't make sense. Unless if it's like a specific location that cannot accept it until next week. In which case, that'd be a bummer. Let's see what they say. Let's talk to the load gods. Well, we're all loaded up, tarped up, tied down. Buttoned up and ready to go. Locked and loaded. It's a little loud in this building right now, so I'll show you the load a little later. I didn't want to walk around out there and just blast your eardrums with whatever that sound is. But we are on our way. We're going straight there. They are going to unload us on Friday. So we're crossing through from North Portal, Saskatchewan into Portal, North Dakota and making our way down to Rogers, Minnesota. I should be there tomorrow night and then I can unload Friday morning. They're gonna try to find me a reload uh, from there. I don't know what this thing is, just uh, steaming away. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? I gotta go this way. I'd love to see a chiropractor again. My back is just, I mean, I shouldn't be complaining. It's not that bad. It's been a lot worse, but uh, I need to make sure this thing stays in alignment. So we got 43,000 pounds of wood on us. I'm gonna stop just up ahead here over this bridge and I'll show you the load and then I wanna change because I'm all soaked in sweat. Quite a big operation here. It's kind of hard to find their shipping department. They have two different shipping departments. They have the regular lumber shipping and then they have the fancy lumber shipping. I had to pick up the fancy lumber, hence the tarp and a few extra pennies. Hopefully this bridge is, this bridge should be made for me. I mean, this is the way they told me to go, right? Uh, there we go. That was bumpy. That was like a cattle guard or a cattle, cattle thing or something. There are cattle around here. <laughs> There's a twist. Not just a lumber yard, also steak. Probably not. Probably not. I'm gonna park right up here. And, uh, get ready to go. Show you good people what I got on my trailer. Oh, the fresh air is nice. It's not as hot out here, a little nice breeze. It was pretty warm inside that warehouse. So here we go. I put the straps on the outside of the tarp this time. Just figured that would work better. Serves a dual purpose, holds the freight down and also holds the tarp down. Obviously I still bungeed it, but at least this way, less flapping, right? That's the, that's the idea. So they didn't stack it very high, just one level high. And this is 43,000 pounds. I think it looks kind of pretty. Minnesota bound. Let's go. Oh my, what is this? You know, I had a Cavalier when I was in high school and I uh, I thought I was a lot cooler than I actually was, but at least my Cavalier didn't look like that. <sighs> look at that wing. Are you trying to fly? Does that car fly? I actually haven't seen a Cavalier like this in a long time. You don't see many of them on the road anymore. That's not a bad car. You know, they're cheap to fix, uh, pretty cheap on fuel, parts were cheap. There's nothing wrong with the Cavalier. I had a fart can on mine. You could hear me coming for like half a mile. Yep, that was me. I lowered it too. <laughs> well, I wish I was joking. No. But you know what? We were all young at one point. I grew up. 
Still got a lot of growing up to do, man. Imagine what I'm gonna be saying about myself when I'm like 60. Man, when I was 30. <laughs> Uh, so this is Lloydminster, uh, Alberta right now. We're going to be going uh, across the line here to the other side of town, which is Lloydminster, Saskatchewan. I have 6 hours and 51 minutes available to me on my day. That's my 16 hour clock. Oh, 6 hours 50 minutes. And I would like to use all of that. I'd like to get close down to uh, like Estevan or Weyburn. Then I can make it, uh, I should be able to make it tomorrow then in one full day. And no idea what we're gonna do yet. If I gotta reload or if I'm just gonna come home empty, I might just come home empty from there. I'll deliver Friday, you know, in the morning and then just head home empty. I'll be home Friday night. And then, hey, then at least I'm home for the Sunday uh, round of golf and for our roof to be redone Monday and for my dentist appointment on Tuesday. And then probably Tuesday evening, I'll take off again. Get another load or two in this month yet. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Oh, Saskatchewan. We always end up in Saskatchewan. So from here, we still have 1,421 kilometers to go. Continue on this road for 112 kilometers. Well, 112 kilometers till our next turn, but 1,421 1, kilometers until our destination. I'm trying to get as much done as I can today yet, but I've only got three hours and 40 minutes left on my clock, and I have to stop for a full 10 hours so that I can cross into the U.S. tomorrow. We might not get all the way to the customer tomorrow night, but we'll get close. We'll still be able to deliver on uh, Friday morning. Hopefully get home Friday night. So have any of you gone to check out this dog park in Saskatoon? It's just off to the left here. Just on the, what is this, the south side of the river? Since we, uh, have any of you gone to check it out since we went to go check it out when Frankie was in the, at the vet here in Saskatoon for a surgery? Remember in our vlogs there we went and discovered this just ginormous, the best dog park we've ever found in our entire lives anywhere. It's right here in Saskatoon. If you haven't gone to go check it out yet and you live in the area, you have a dog, I'd highly recommend you go check it out. It's awesome. There's a dusty yard here in Davidson, Saskatchewan with the Flying J. I was thinking of staying here the night. I decided not to. I don't want to go a little further yet. My e-log says I don't have to stop yet, so why stop? I'm going to try to get down to Weyburn. I think I can just barely make it if I hurry. It'll make my day tomorrow a little bit easier and the next day as well. It'll give me the option of getting home Friday night then. They put these pumps really close together, closer than usual. You can barely thread the needle through here. Hey everyone, Matt Bailey here from Rochester, New York with my dog Diesel. You are watching TJV on YouTube. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> 